I love the Son, I love the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mr. Steven Brooks, I give you this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Miss Martha David, I give you this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. With the power vested on me by the church, I declare you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.
rise and shine, honey. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. It's officially our first day together as husband and wife. <laughs> I can't believe we're finally together. <laughs> it's like a dream. Of course, but it's not a dream, honey. It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for, for what? For making my dreams come true. For putting an everlasting smile on my face. <laughs> You're the best man any woman can ask for. No, honey, you are the best woman <laughs> any man can ever ask for. Believe me, since you came into my life, I've been blessed. And so blessed and so, so blessed. And I love you. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me grab a cup of coffee, okay? No, 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 no. I'll do that for you. Mr. Stephen Brooks, I am officially resuming duties as your lawfully wedded wife. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And that sounds interesting. Mrs. Martha Brooks, <laughs> our vision. not a problem, but I'll sort you out. But <laughs> I just told you I'll sort you out. Yeah, I have nothing to worry about. <laughs> Where's the coffee? I found this in the kitchen. What is the meaning of this? And who is this faceless lady? How did this even get into our kitchen? I don't know. You don't know? Seriously, I don't. What do you mean you don't know? Someone somehow gained access into our home, dropped pictures of you with another woman, and you're telling me you don't know? I, I, I guess someone is trying to play a prank on me. It's, it's, it's nothing. Trust me, dear. Look, I know my friends, okay? I think the boys are trying to play a prank on me, but I'll find out who did this. It, it's nothing. Alright? Trust me. It's nothing for <laughs> Is that why you didn't give me my coffee? Oh, that's not fair. Go get me my coffee, okay? Love you so much. Trust me, this is nothing. Okay? All right, I'm waiting for the coffee. I love you.
still doesn't make any sense. I mean, I was with you in the hospital when you signed the papers. Of course. How? How can she be alive? You know, to calm down, calm your nerves, you know. I'm sure there will be some explanation for this. Um, have you called Dr. Femi? Well, I haven't. You're the first person that came to my mind. I'll just call him right away. Um, I, I, I think we should just go and see him. This is not a phone conversation at all. No! It is not the best! I cannot give up on my only sister! She wouldn't! Are you sure? <laughs> After all the surviving family. I have the right to make decisions for her. Even if it takes a hundred years, we won't take away the opportunity for her to survive. <laughs> Jenny, can you see me? Oh my god, can, can you see me? Can you, can you, doctor! No! Oh, Stephen, we I tried on several locations to reach you to inform you that we couldn't go on with. Uh, the combination as uh, requested by the sister. Your number uh, wasn't reachable. Uh, but you see, when she came out of coma a few months after five years, it was a big surprise to all of us. Okay, doctor. <clears throat> doctor, do you have any idea where? They may be. I mean, Jennifer and her sister. I... I don't really know, but... You see, 
I think uh, their home won't be a bad place to look out for. Tell me, I already know your music video is paid. Damn! Okay, Norman! Oh my god. Please okay. bring drinks! I feel so ashamed of myself right now. I feel so ashamed for doing this to me. How do I even face her? If I see her right now, how do I face her? You need to cheer up. You need to cheer up. What has happened has happened. I mean, you are a married man now. There's nothing anybody can do about it. I mean, she was in coma for how long? Five years. And I have a very bad feeling about this. And I just got married. Mm -hmm. Then the lady I I was meant to marry, my, my fiance who was in coma for five years, just got out of coma. What's going on? We should be thanking God that Jenny's alive. I mean, look on the brighter side. At least now you can stop blaming yourself for causing her death. Even Jenny would understand that you did what you should have done. I mean, anybody would have done what you did. We're talking about five years here. It's been five whole years. Don't forget that I abandoned her for three years. And for three years I kept on feeling that maybe I should have done more. You know, I kept on asking myself if I did the right thing. I just hope she understands. I really pray this doesn't cause problems 
between Martha and I, I don't even know how to explain to her. You'd, um, you'd have to look for a way to tell Martha, at least before things get out of hand. Well, tell me. I never told her I had a fiancé who, who both of us got involved in an accident on the night of our wedding. I never told her. So how do I start now? You... You are not hoping to keep this from her forever. Come on. She is your wife. You, you're left with no choice. You have to tell her. I don't know how. You have to look for a way to say to her. Because if she finds out from someone else, you practically have betrayed her trust. Somehow, I don't know. You might want to get your phone. Oh, it's Martha. Okay. I have to go. Are you going back to the office? Yeah, I have to have to see work to do. It's not the end of it, what I mean. Jenny, what do you think you are doing? I can't help it. I can't. How could Stephen do this to me? He abandoned me in the hospital for three years and went to marry another woman. You should be grateful to God. For bringing you back to life after five years in coma. Do you know what that means? I know. But what is left without Stephen? What is left without him? Stephen is not your life. He, he is. is not. He is. See, he put this ring on my finger. We were supposed to be married before the accident. Not anymore, sweetheart. He gave up on you. He couldn't wait for you to come back to life. Please forget about him and move on with your life. You have a better life ahead of you. Steven is a married man, girlfriend. He is. I can't. I can't. Of course you can. I can't. Jenny. I can't. Jenny, you can do this. Trust me. Please stop crying. I can't. No. I can't. It's okay, stop crying. Pull yourself together. Don't do this. To you. to be taking your calls. Uh, I, I was actually in a meeting. So I had to put my phone on silent. A meeting? Yes. Honey, you're on leave. And on the very first day of our honeymoon? I mean, it, it, it was actually an, uh, an emergency. Yeah, they, they called me up to come to the office. It was, I had to handle something very serious. And you know me, I'm like the most competent person in the office. But I've taken care of it. Okay, so... It's nothing to worry about. Hmm? And I am sorry I will not do such a thing again. Okay, will anyone come looking for me? No. Is everything alright? Yes, everything is alright. Okay. We have nothing to worry about, I promise. I'll make it up to you. Okay? Accept your food. I'm not hungry.
Hello. Hello, who is on the line? Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Honey, why did you do that? The call could have been important. It's very late. Whoever the person is, let the call in the morning. Go back to sleep. Honey, I'm so sorry. Please, I'm So you are trying to avoid me. I know exactly what to do. You think you are smart. I'll prove to you I'm smarter, Steve. Femi told me all that you did for me. I got a second chance to leave because you didn't give up on me. Thank you so much. Come on, Jenny. You don't need to thank me. You are the only family I have. I could not bear the thought of losing you. I would not have lived with myself. If I did not stop the doctor from taking off the life support. Oh God. I'm even so ashamed of myself. For conceding to the idea in the first place. No. You did what you felt was the right decision for me. Thanks once again for not giving up on me. Come on sis. I am glad you came out alive. Jenny, please, I would like you to move on with your life. Knowing that you're supposed to find it married to another woman. No. Steven and I belong to each other. No matter how many women he gets to marry, he belongs to me. Don't be saying that, Jenny. I expect you to move on with your life and forget about him about everything that happened. No! I can't, sis. I spent most of my life loving and being there for Steven. I almost lost my life in that ghastly motor accident all because of him. I can't let go of everything we had. He is mine. And where are you off to? I'm going to get my man. Her man?
Mama said, no, please, Johnson, I am your mother. I have the right to tell you what to do. You have to send Susan out of this house and get another woman that will give me grandchildren. Mother, you of all people should know that children come from the Lord. There is nothing wrong with my wife. At God's appointed time, we will give you grandchildren. Look at you. What do you know about God and his appointed time? Susan must leave this house. Whether you like it or not. Whether the devil like it or not, Susan must leave. Mother, she's going nowhere. You cannot come into my house and make decisions for me. Come on, mom. Come on. You and dad introduced Susan to me. We've been married for three years now, and I'm a happy man. She makes me happy. I understand your worries. I understand your fears. Don't worry. I will give you a grandchild. I am running out of patience. I am running out of patience. I don't know how long I can wait. Mom, if we continue like this, I'm going to be late for work. Uh, how about we continue this discussion when I come back? Okay? I love you, Mom. Love you huh? to be late by continuing at least come I have to go I have to run please Security man, which kind of question is that one? Huh? I look new for your eye. Oh, sorry, is your boss in? Boss, damn for Abi Baba. We here be like where they the park boss. Oh, you think you they find, uh, madam? Who is she looking for? I don't know. She says she they find boss. Who is she looking for? She says they look for a boss. I can't ask them whether here be like a park. Where then they park? Tip a boss, all those baba, big boss. Good day. Hello. You must be Stephen's new wife. Oh, yes, I am. My name is Jennifer. Okay. A colleague from his office. Oh. I brought a document for him to sign. Hope he's home. Yes, yeah, sure he is. Okay. Don't worry, come inside, let me take you in. Go back to looks the same after a long time. Excuse me. Oh, never mind. 
<laughs> I said, you won't believe who just called me. Where are you? <laughs> you know, I. Mr. Steve, you look tensed. Are you okay? Honey? Honey? Why are you acting like you just saw a ghost? I'm fine. Anyway, this lady here says she brought a file for you from the office. Oh, oh the file. Oh, how could I forget? Uh, too many things in my head. One of them says there's water in my room on the floor, broken in a hurry. So now, why don't you get out of this thing and drink a glass of juice? Sure, one minute, please. Thank you. Please. For the sake of the love we shared. Love? Did I hear you say love, Steve? minutes it's all I'm giving you 30 minutes hey. uh, I'm sorry darling I have to get going we tell the drink oh I we can drink some other time I really have to get going yes she has a lot to do too much work piled up in the office yeah. I'll see you in the office in 30 minutes mr. Steve <laughs> She has no right whatsoever to throw you out of this house. No right. Honey, you don't get it. Who will I do to make your parents understand that I'm not God that gives children? Just I'm tired, sincerely. I know, listen. I need you to stop crying, okay? No, don't do that. Don't allow my mother to ruin your day. Yeah? Come on, I'm here for you. Just ignore her. Honey, okay? you, you don't understand. You're not the one that has been threatened to be thrown out of her husband's house. You're not just the one being called Barry. You're not Barry. Don't say that again. You're not Barry. The doctors have told us that countless times. There's nothing wrong with you. You are okay. You know what? Just to satisfy your curiosity one more time. That's fine. You can come to the office um, later in, in the day, in the afternoon, so that we can go and um, see the doctor again. Okay? Is that fine? Okay. Now put a smile on that face for me. A biggest smile. Come on. There you go. Come here. I love you. I love you too, Have a nice day. Um, one day. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mama said, Don't worry, oh, we go find you, the special girl. Papa said, Don't bother, oh, we go find you, the perfect one. So when she misbehaves, we go come. Ah, nice ass, Susie. 
come to stay and there is nothing anybody can do about it. Hello? Yes, doctor. I and my husband will be coming to the hospital later today. I believe you know what to do. Okay, have a nice day. No one is perfect Is perfect Somebody find me the good girl Where they at? Where they at? The good boys Where they at? Where they at? Find me the better one Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? The good ones Where they at? Somebody find me the good girls Where they at? Where they at? The good boys Where they at? Where they at? Oh, hello. Let me run. Honey? Yeah? Where are you running to? I just said breakfast. Yes, I know, but I don't have time. I need to get to the office immediately. Steve. Yeah. What is going on? Is this how I'm going to suffer in this marriage? For God's sake, we just got married two days and you're skipping meals and running off to work already. I'm sorry. That's because I have to work. I have to work. I need to make money for both of us. Okay? Something just came up in the office right now. It's urgent. And you know when these things come up, I'm the only person they get to call. Please. Still, you know what? You've been acting strange since I saw that envelope in the kitchen yesterday morning. In fact, everybody in this house is acting strange. What is it? What are you worried about? Come on now, oh, sweetheart. Uh, I told you not to bother yourself about that picture. It's just a picture. Okay, and I told you, possibly it's my, my, my friends trying to play a fast one on me. I'll get to the root of it, but I told you it's nothing to worry about. Okay? Come on now. Mm, I love you. Ada? Ada? Sir? Take this, put it in the car. Like I said, Okay? About the picture, forget it. About me rushing off to work, I have to work. That's just that I need to work to make money for both of us, right? say anything about Auntie Jennifer to my wife. Do you understand? No, I don't understand. What is there not to understand? Um, you say me cannot tell Madame, your wife, anything about Madame Weiko. That's exactly what I said. Do it that way. Hey, but okay. um, Auntie Jenny will come back. I've been mean, saying she don't die. Don't be stupid. Don't ask me silly questions. Just do exactly what I told you. Is that clear?
What were you discussing with my husband? Madame, nothing, madame. Eh, eh, Ogavin, they tell me, say, make her iron all those clothes I washed yesterday. Eh, now we will be the talk, I swear. Why are you swearing? Why were you even acting funny when you saw that lady from my husband's office? Madame, I beg. I don't, not, I don't know anything, no. In fact, i never seen Auntie Jennifer for my life before. How come you know her name when you've never seen her before? Ada? Ma? Eh, Madam, I beg. I don't, I don't say anything. I beg. Make her go out your nogal clothes. <laughs> Jenny left this house since 7 a.m.? Yes. Where could she have gone to? Well, she didn't say. We were talking when she suddenly left the house, said she was going to get her man. Whatever that means. Going to get her man. Her man. Jenny. Jenny, I hope you're not up to something stupid. What's this thing with going to get your man? In fact, let me call him. you do this to me, Steve? It is not enough that you abandoned me in the hospital for three years. You went ahead to marry another woman. After all the love we shared. After all the promises you made to me, Steve. Jenny, I know you were dead. You thought I was dead. You were the one I least expected to give up on me, Steve. Look, Jenny, you need to understand. You don't know what I went through watching you suffer for two years. At some point, I couldn't bear it anymore. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I know there is no excuse or explanation for what I did. But just find it in your heart to forgive me, please. I'm so sorry if I could turn back the hands of time. I swear to God I will. Forgive me, please. Forgive you. Forgive you, you say. Then what happened? Save me. You, you are alive. Joseph, good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. Um, I, I'm glad you're, you're well, heal, happy, and, and life. You know what? I'll, I'll just leave both of you to, to talk. 
Um, Mr. Bo, um, my wife and I are going to see the doctor. Your wife? You're not married. It's been five years, Jen. A lot has happened. And, uh, I'll see you around. Forgive you, you see. Then what happened? I let go of everything we had. Jen, you need to understand that things have changed. Right? Things have changed completely. I'm a married man now. Divorce her! Divorce her and get married to me! Oh, please. Of course you know that's not possible. Look, Martha is a wonderful woman. Alright? She's changed my life. I've been married for barely two days. I should not even be here. I mean, all because of you I'm here. I, I should be having my honeymoon right now with my wife. It's not possible. So, I am the bad woman. Is it my fault that we had an accident a night to our wedding? Is it my fault that you left me in coma for five years? Is it my fault that you gave up on me? You left me to die, Steve! Can you just put your voice down and understand my situation? Okay? If I knew you had... You don't even get it. I tried. I tried my best. If I knew you had as little as a 5% chance of survival, I wouldn't have signed those papers. Believe me, I'm sorry. Don't tell me you're sorry. Do you know what kept me going? All through these years I was in coma. You! I fought to live because of you, Steve! I know. That's why I'm saying that I'm sorry. I know I hurt you deeply. I know I cannot turn back the hands of time. I am sorry. Okay? But look, it's not the end of the world. I mean, you just have to understand and move on. Go out there. I'm not the best man in the world. There are millions of men out there. Choose anyone. And... I don't want another man, Steve! It's you! I want you! Oh, oh, this madness! Stop it! I'm trying to let you know. I cannot divorce my wife. It's not possible. I can't cheat on my wife. No! Ah. Madness! Now you see the madness. No! 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 Please stop! Please stop! Please Put it down for a minute. Please do this. Please stop! Please. Just a minute. It is not in my hands. Meet me at Swiss Hotel tonight. What is love without you? The world is done without you And I'm not letting go And I'm not letting go Looking to you How are we doing here? I thought you wanted to see my doctor. Darling, we have been seeing your doctor for the past three years now. And he's been seeing the same thing. So I thought it was wise to see a new doctor, a different one. But, but you never told me about it. I know. I, I'm sorry about that. It was a last minute change of plan for me as well. Hmm? Not to worry. He's, he's it's good. You're in good hands, okay? Okay. Let's go.
Honey. Are you okay? Fine. Are you sure? Fine. Look, I understand you're under pressure. Right? You have nothing to worry about. Mr. and Mrs. Rupert, the doctor is ready to see you. understand what you're saying. Are you sure that's my um, my wife's result? <laughs> is it Mr. Robert? Uh, the result is absolutely correct. Uh, the inability of the wife uh, to conceive is as a result of um, several abortions she has done in the past. Her fallopian tube is damaged as, as a result of complications. And, uh, see, if, if you doubt this result, we can run a confirmatory test to, to assure you of our sincerity. Susan. Do you know about these complications be before now? I asked you a question. Do you know about this condition? Mr. Robert, please. Yeah, be calm. Please. Be calm. Be as civil as possible. Don't push me. Take your things and leave my house. I don't ever set my eyes on you again. Honey. Don't honey me. Don't. I, I never wanted to be in this marriage in the first place. I never wanted to be here. But my parents said, oh, it's. It would be best to marry somebody from their church than the best kind of girls. And, I, and you do this to me? What did I do for you? I, I loved you. I, I showed you care. I, I denied you nothing. And you make a fool of me this way. No, Susan, why? I'm, why? I'm very sorry, honey. Please forgive me. Forgive me! <laughs> I'm trying so hard to keep my salvation because I don't want to hit you. I don't want to hit you. Get your things and get out of my house. They go market. Yes, but this one where they go market by this time, if you let's say by 12 a.m., you won't take come back, Abby. This time, to Abek, go call open gate for me, make a day tomorrow. I know why they tell you. If you like, go there, go sleep. You see this food where they chop? 
after one hour, you don't dissolve. So make sure say you come back on time. No go there, go there. Follow, I beg. Go open gate, make a go. I no get time. Follow. I don't say you know Sabi keep sick people, but you go try keep this one for this is dead. This is the light. Which kind of embarrassment talk? Wait, now you see, you say you see the hash. The kind while that we won't enter this house. How many God feel safe first, you know? Which one? Will I say you don't start with this or pray, 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 pray? Eh, since you don't want to hear the gist, come up and get me a cabin. Eh, you never reach like that. Go down now. First, you know they follow you, you joke. Oh, yeah. Now, wait. What's happening? You remember that auntie a come house today? Which auntie? How many people don't come here today? That fine one now. Okay, the one where say they work with Oga for office. Hey, hey that one. What mm thing happened to her? Now she will work up one. Ada? Ma? Hey, madam. What are you doing there? Eh, eh, madam. I'll be the temple not to go open gates. Yes. Will you get her from there and find your way to the market? Hello, ma. Lots of dreams together. We had plans. How do all this come to reality when you have her in the picture? Listen to me, Jim. You're still a very young. Beautiful girl. You still have all the time in the world to. You know. Time to do what? Steve! What time are you talking about, Steve? Tell me, are your parents behind all this? Or did you do it because you never loved me? My parents are not behind it. But I loved you so much, you know that. Things have changed. It's not my fault. The accident happened. I, I thought you were dead. I it's not my fault. I moved on and then I met Martha. She has changed my life. She's a virtuous woman. She's I'm no longer the person the person you used to know. I'm married now. Okay. Just understand this and move on with your life, please. I can't. Steve, I love you so much. I can't move on. Please. Oh. Make room oh. to me. Make oh. room to me, please. Please. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. No. Wait, my mind. Oh. Oh. My wife is calling me. It's my dad. I need to go. No. Please, I, I need to go. No. I'm not letting you go, Steve. Steve, you have to be able to be. Don't do this now, Jenny. It's not, it's not by force. Alright? Relax. Look, I am married now. 
Okay, I've been married for two days. I've not even spent up to a minute with my newly wedded wife. Let me let you go, please. <laughs> Picking up. What's all this? I am scared. I, I hope she's all right. It's getting really late and she's not back. The worst is she has not been answering her phone since morning. Just calm down. Calm down. She's fine. I, I know. I believe she's fine. Maybe. It's her. She's calling. Hello. Jenny, where are you? I have been calling. Why are you crying? What? Calm down. Calm down and talk to me. Is that not... Okay, okay, don't move an inch, don't move an inch, I'm coming to pick you right now, I am coming to get you, okay, what is it, where is she, is she, is she alright, she's fine, I, something came up, I, she's fine, why all these things happen okay 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 look at this carefully and see god's hands in this you deserve a better man steve is not the right man for you that is why god allowed all these things to happen please stop crying i can't accept this i love steve so much i can't Okay. Stop hurting yourself. Stop it. Jenny, Steve is not the only man. A better someone, a better man will come. It's okay. Stop crying, Jenny. Trust me. I promise you, someone better will come. Oh, thanks for the shirt, bro. You're welcome. Thank you. Susan, who could have thought Susan would do such a thing? I mean, she's so, so lovely, so innocent, you know. I, you know, I, I don't even want to talk about it. At least now my parents will know that it's not every girl you see in church that is a saint. Goodness, that, that woman fooled me. For three years! Three! Oh. Take it easy. Be too hard on yourself. Take it easy. 
It's okay. Uh, so, um, what do you plan to do about Jennifer? There's actually nothing to plan. I'm married. I'm happily married. And I love my wife. I don't intend to hurt her. And you think you're not hurting her already by keeping this away from her? That's the problem. I I know, but how do I tell her? And how do I get myself to tell her? Oh. It's, it's okay. Just um, do the right thing. Okay. Let me run it on. I'm sure Martha will be worried sick. Okay, see me later. Alright. Good night. They won't see you. I suppose you're Mr. Steven Brooks. Yes, I am. How may I help you? What is my husband's offense? What, what's really going on here? Madam, your husband will find out all he needs to know when he gets to the station. My husband is going nowhere. No, 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 it's okay. Me? It's alright. You have nothing to worry about. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I'm not aware that I've done anything wrong to anybody. It must be a mix of them. Okay? I'll go with them. Yes, I can we move? Relax. Before we move, I need to know where we're moving to. Where's your station? B division, sir. B division? Yes. B division. Okay, I've met a colleague. Sit down, colleague. Get a change of clothes. Mr. Brooks, you know she has an evidence against you. You attempted raping her. Excuse me? Excuse me? What? Rape? What? Okay, listen. Have you seen this piece of cloth before? Yes, that's, that's, that's a piece from my shirt. Which was torn last night by her while I was struggling with her. You just confirmed that you were struggling with her. I'm afraid, Mr. Brooks. I have to forward this your case to the high court. What nonsense! I mean, what is this country turning into? I said I was struggling with her. She wasn't the only person who tried to make an attempt on me. I did not rape her! Are you shouting in my house? Yes, I will shout! Because this is injustice! I did not rape her! If you don't respect yourself, I'll ask my boys to keep you behind bars. Come on, uh, come on. <laughs> No, no, no. It has nothing to do. Come, come down. Come down. Um, I have to step in here. First of all, I don't know when mere allegations became proof of evidence. In any case, my client, Steve, does not deny knowing Jennifer. He's not even denying that they met yesterday. All of us here, we know that they had a history. You know? Besides, I don't think we can't handle this. I am sure we can come to an agreement out of court. Well, you are talking out of court. It all depends on her counts. Well, I will only settle out of court if Mr. Steven agrees to spend the weekend with me. Listen to me, Jennifer Lewis. Listen very clearly. This thing is not by force. You get me? You cannot force me to do something I do not want to do. I'm a married man now. I cannot cheat on my wife. You want a man, go out there. There are streets where you see boys hanging around. You want 10 of them, 20, 100 of them. Take them, not me. I will not cheat on my wife. Is that clear? Then be ready to go to court. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, this is all. I think um, I need to confer with my client. Okay, please just excuse me. Yeah, free.
cost you know if this if this we are just about this ton clothes and the circumstantial evidence I will tell you to go and sleep I'll handle it but I don't think that you want to expose your family to such a scandal like this and the way you handle this will determine the state of your union with your wife going forward there should be enough any other way is fine by me. Cheating on my wife should be out of it. There is I can't. No, there is no other way. There is no other way. Trust me. Rip scandal is not something you want to try for. I did not rip her. <laughs> but that is what it will look like. You know? Besides, you don't have to do anything with her per se. You don't have to really do anything with her. You can just get into the room with her and convince her. Just to calm her down, agree to it, but then get into the place, convince her. I know Jennifer. She will listen to you. She has a heart.
Johnson, are you living or ready for work without giving me an answer for what I asked you? What do you expect me to tell your father? Mother, it's too, it's too early for this. I have a lot on my decks. I need to go to work. Okay. You have not seen a jobless woman. I don't have a job. I have done wrong by leaving my house to come here and talk to you about your future. Where is it wrong for a mother to ask to carry her grandchildren? There you go again, grandchildren. That's all you and dad have been pressurizing me about. What is it? Your father and I found you a more decent, befitting, holy girl that serves God, that has a fear of God to marry. That was why we asked you to send Susan out of the house. But thank God, has since fished her out. Mom, you are driving me nuts. Absolutely nuts. What is this? I am still yet to recover from the decent, God-fearing, torturous girl that you and dad found for me. I haven't recovered yet. I only sent her out of this house yesterday. And here you, you are talking to me about a, a new wife? Come on. Where is your conscience? Johnson, we don't have time. We don't have that time at all. But come to think of it, what is wrong with you? Chasing Susan out of the house yesterday and getting married to another woman today. Well, everything, wrong? everything is wrong with it. And I, Johnson Roberts, will not you do it. You better come to the house and see your father. And see the new girl who found for you. Mom, you better I'm sorry, come to I the house. I'm sorry. You better come to the house, oh. Mama said, don't worry, oh. We go find you, the special girl. <laughs> Papa said, don't bother, oh. We go find you, the perfect one. So when she misbehaves, we go come through with experience. When you penetrate, you go find she's the perfect one. One day, two day, three day, four days, the good girl misbehaves. Five nights, six nights, seven nights, seven days from a good girl to a It's nothing for you to worry about. It, it, it's just a mix-up in the office. Three days of marriage and it feels like hell already. Steve, what is going on? What are you hiding from me? I'm not hiding anything. I swear I'm not hiding anything. First, it was pictures of you and another woman in our kitchen. Then a woman shows up in this house and everyone goes wacko. And you tell me you're not hiding anything? Baby, I've told you before, I'm not hiding anything. It was just a work-related issue and it, it's been sorted out. I'm not even sure of the man I married anymore. My instinct tells me you are hiding something from me. Steve, when I do find out what it is, you will like me. Jenny, don't you think you're taking these things too far? This man is married. Why not leave him alone? Silva, hmm? I can't. It's not like I'm fighting for some boyfriend. This is a man I was engaged to. A man I had accident with on the eve of our wedding. And left me in a coma for five years. I know. Ah. Jenny, I know. But all these things does not matter anymore. They don't matter. The truth is that Stephen has totally gotten over you. That's not true. Stephen loves me. I can feel it. I can see it in his eyes. I saw how he looked at me this morning. I saw how he reached out to me when I almost tripped on the floor. Just like the good old days. Girlfriend, wake up. Wake up from this illusion, girlfriend. Jenny, I don't want to see you get hurt. Seriously, I don't want to see you go through pains again. I'm fine. Trust me, I'll be fine. I can handle it. You know what? Let's forget about this Steve's gist. What's up with you? <laughs> You're doing well, girl. Mm -hmm. I have seen a couple of your music videos. Babes! 
<laughs> you are gradually turning into a celebrity. Oh, thank God. After all this years of struggling to be a top video vixen. Oh, thank God. God is paying me. So finally, God has done it. Yes, so what? I'm happy for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Dad, what I'm saying is I, I need time. I need more time to recover from what Susan did to me. Is, is that too much to ask? Huh? My son, there's no time for that. Your mom and I, we are really sorry for what Susan did to you, especially since we're the ones that introduced her to you. But, women, nevertheless, this girl, Rachel, that we're talking about, she's different. Exactly. Your father is right. Rachel is decent and God-fearing. In fact, she sings in the church. Yeah, right. Susan was an usher in the same church. I see. Um, let us not make this any more difficult than it already is. Let me choose my wife this time. Please, Mom, Dad, I don't want to make another mistake. I have spent three years of my life already with the wrong woman. Please. My son, this is why we are asking you to trust us on this matter. I am your father, and I know what is good for you. It is true we made a mistake with Susan. But this time around, this Rachel girl is a different species. She is a good wife. She will make a good wife for you. Yes. That, 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 You've got to trust us on this. This, this is not fair. This is not fair. I am a man and I'm, I, I have a right to choose my own wife. Just try us on this. Just try us on this. I think I made a mistake marrying Steve. I have a feeling I'm going to suffer for the rest of my life. My dear, that is enough. I'm sure it's not that bad. It is. It's even worse. Auntie, look at me. I am supposed to be on my honeymoon with my husband. But he's not even home. Do you know he was arrested by the police? What? Arrested? Why? I don't even know. He said uh, it's a mix-up at the office and everything was fine. But Auntie, I do not believe him. I have a strong feeling Steve is hiding something from me. Auntie, Steve is hiding a big secret. Each time I try to talk to him about it, he becomes uncomfortable and changes the topic. Wait, let me tell you the truth. You see, marriage is for better, for worse. You don't have to get tired at this stage of your marriage. It's very early. Don't allow the devil to find a way in your home. Remember where you are coming from. You are from a, a Christian home. Don't allow the devil to take your home. Try and hold your marriage. You are a virtuous woman. I'm trying. I'm trying. It's not easy. I know. How did we get to this stage of our lives? Oh boy, we used to be happy, you know. We used to be really happy. Hang out. Hang out with women. <laughs> Bars. You know, have fun. Club, man. Fridays, sometimes we had those days. What happened to those days? I miss those days, man. The pressure now too much. Yeah. Good old days. Good old days. So tell me. <clears throat> are you going to spend the weekend with them, um, Jenny?
can't cheat on my wife. It's too early to start talking about something like that. I, can't. I love my wife, I can't cheat on her. I intend to meet with Jenny and just tell her to stop this madness. Do you still love her? I'll be honest with you, Johnson. I never stopped loving her. I still care about her. Hi. I wish you waited just a little longer. I wish you had waited. Yeah. It's too late to cry now. I wish so too, but I tried. I mean, you know I tried. You know, but the pressure from my parents was just too much. Too much. At some point, I just had to succumb. So my guy <laughs> decided to go with pressure from his parents instead of waiting for a woman that um, loved him for so many years then and supported him. So now you're talking. <laughs> like, like, seriously. <laughs> Johnson, you're talking. Is there anything you've ever done at this age, this stage of your life? Anything at all without consulting your parents? Really? And even listening to them? Really? Steve, really? We're going to make this about me now? No. Go ahead. It's fine. <laughs> Never mind. Just saying. Talking about our parents and um, them getting involved all the time. They, I went to see them yesterday. And to them they have good news. Really? <sighs> they found someone else for me to marry. And you can laugh if you want. It's fine. Already. I'm telling you. Okay. I, I guess you've given in as usual. Do I have a choice? Uh-huh. No, 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 Steve. Do I, do I have a choice? They leave me with no choice because the pressure is enormous. Every single day they are singing the same song. I, I, I've had it up to here. I'm probably going to do what they want and just please them. Even though they say this, this one is way better. That's what they say. You, you escort me today. Hey, this uh, local is Now, whatever I want, take take done. Eh? Oh no. Wait till they bring this guy in salt, eh? Now you won't tell me how I go take run my department. Come on, come on, you shut up your mouth then. Which your department? Ordinary two cups of local rice where we, we go, we go, you know, be said on our important people won't chop myself. Now you take the talk department, which your department? Now you be mad at where they cook. Um, meanwhile, what will be, be that thing where you even say you won't tell me before Madame rudely interrupt us? Hey. You won't hear it, I won't tell you. After you go say now that they like gossip first. Before uncle? No be gossip, gossip machine you be. I don't blame you. Anyway, since I don't already start the gist, make a computer. Madam, no day has nobody day. Talk nonsense where you want to talk, man. You remember that madam we been come the other day? Which one? That fine one now. Ah. Uh, you know say now got wife. Which ogre? How many ogre you got? Eh, the thing be saying, I've been thinking say she don't die. Because ogre no come they talk of her again. And say, eh, ogre be say, make her not tell anybody anything. You say I'll be deaf and dumb, You see this thing when you talk? I know you hear him. No go talk, say you tell me. So what you get there, you say, make you no know tell person. Now you carry come tell me. Make you pursue me for this one. 
I don't blame you at all. Now, me will leave my department, my office. Come there. See, 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 Mumu. Go to your department. Oh, God, don't ever drink tea, tea from your hands before. But if you don't drink water, you give a guy, they check and wear, check and wear before you go drink them. Come, be, come, now you be mad at where they cook food. See, idiot. Only two cups of local rice where you want to prepare. Now you want to take talk with your depa department to bend your mouth to there. Don't see as it be. See, this is a fish where I just say, make a manage, manage. Local is where you go cook. You're, you're plenty poison where they serve us here. Ooh. Did you ask me to meet you here? You could have waited till tomorrow. After all, we have all the weekend to spend together. That's because I want to appeal to you. And I pray you understand. Look, I can't cheat on my wife. Right? I, I just can't. Don't even go there, Steve. Don't! I've been fair enough. After everything, I deserve to be with you, not her. Waking up from that sick bed, I was supposed to go to my man. A man I was supposed to get married to a day before the accident, which was his fault. But no, I can't. Because my man was too impatient to wait for me. Impatient? You were in coma for five years. Five whole years and you call that impatient? Jenny, a lot happened. I would have waited 10 years for you, Steve. I would never leave you for another man if the reverse was the case. Look, Jenny. I know I hurt you. I hurt you deeply. And I'm sorry. From the depths of my heart, I apologize. I'm sorry. But things have changed now. I am married. I cannot cheat on my wife. Please understand. Weekend. Or kiss that little marriage of yours goodbye. condition but I assure you I will fight it no matter what it takes please wait for me don't give up on me please
Who are you talking to? I was talking to my mom. I think you're just tired. Maybe you should go home and freshen up. But you haven't gone home since Friday you came back from work. And today is Sunday. Please, go home and have enough rest. And have a change of clothes too. I promise. I am here with her. I won't step an inch till you get back. Please go home and rest. And uh, even when we got to your house, your housemate told us you've not been back since Friday when you work. What, what's the problem? I wonder why you're getting worried. You know where I've been. I've been in the hospital with my fiancé who is sick. The hospital? If you wanted to see me or my fiancé, you would have come to the hospital. The last time I checked, you were not ill. I have no reason coming to the hospital. Mom, let's not go over this again. I beg you. Okay? She is my choice. She is my fiancée. I am going to stand by her no matter how long it takes. No matter how long she stays in coma. Period. No, you do no such thing. As a matter of fact, you not just leave her there. You forget about her. Okay? And move on with your life. That will never happen, Father. I know that you and mother do not like her, but she is my choice. And as an adult, you have to respect my choice. Please. Your choice is wrong. That girl will do you more harm than good. We met a powerful man of God, and he revealed to us that that girl is an evil girl. She's evil. She planned that accident for you, but it backfired. How long are you going to wait for her in that state? It has been eight months now. It's better for you to forge ahead with your life. Leave her there. So I could make all the pain go away. Wish I could turn back the hands of time. So I could wake up in time. And you don't go away. I love Interesting. To tell you the truth, 
when my parents told me about him, I I kicked against it. I was a bit skeptical because um, because of my my recent ordeal. I, I just left my wife, you know, stuff. So it was the last thing in my head. But meeting you, seeing you, hearing you talk, you know, spending time with you has made me have a rethink. I, I can say that I'm a lucky man. God makes everything perfect in some time. I'll call myself lucky too, being here with you. Mm. We should um, drink to that then. I told you I don't take alcohol. Oh. At all. At all. Okay, we'll probably get you juice at the bar. I don't know. <laughs> Mama said, don't worry, oh, you go find you, the special girl. Papa said, Cause there's no life without you. No play, no nothing. Things weren't like this before the accident, you know. Things are different now. I've tried to make you understand, but you just wouldn't. Things are different right now. I'm married to someone else. Can't you just understand? Understand what? Understand what, Steve? Do you even consider how I feel? Do you? I can imagine how you feel. Okay. I know that this this situation is really hurting you. I can imagine how you feel. Believe me. I totally understand. Can you just do me this favor and put yourself in my wife's shoes? I mean, imagine that you are the one who just got married and barely five days after your marriage, your husband is in a hotel room with another woman. I mean, how are you going to feel? This is different. Steve, we were engaged. We were supposed to be married. No, we did not get married. We didn't get married. I mean, how was am I? Should I drum it into your head? We didn't get married. It's not your fault. Neither is it mine. Okay? I guess nature didn't want us to get married. It's nobody's fault. Now we're here. But to show you the kind of person I am, I mean I'm a good man, I want you to be happy. Okay? I can settle you. And I can, I can get you a house, a new house, okay? I can buy you a car. I can even marry another man for you. If you want two men, I can pay for them just. How dare you? How dare you insult me in such manner? I don't give a damn about your money! Come around. John's I 
See, you give her a break, you know, a bit of space. Mother is still hurting. Any woman will hurt. But one thing I know is for sure, that woman loves you. And eventually she would, she would forgive you. Guess what? What is it? I told my husband I want to go to Dubai for shopping. And he accepted. Really? Hey, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Ada? Come. Steve. I'm sorry, but I have to do this. You're going to the market? Yes, Ada, make sure you buy everything in that list correctly. If you do not see any item in the list, please return my money. I do not want substitutes. Do you understand? Mm. No, ma. I don't understand. What don't you understand? Hey, madam, no vet. Uh, you say if I don't see any of the things where they did this list, make I not buy anyone at all, as make I bring back the money. Ada, don't be silly. Please leave. Okay. This girl is very, very funny. <sighs> She's a funny girl. Hello, honey. Hello? Who are you? What are you doing with my husband's phone? If I were you, sweetheart, I would find my way to Swiss Hotel at Collins Street, number six. That's not true. My husband is in a meeting in Abuja. Hello? 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 Mother, what is it? Why are you shouting? Auntie? Huh? My husband? Uh, someone called me a lady that my own husband is in a hotel. But he told me he's in Abuja for a meeting. No, 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 that can't be. That can't be, that... no. My car is not here. I need to go to that hotel now. But your mom went out with the car. Wait, she will soon be back, wait. And I need to go to that hotel, no, no way. No, no. I will be expecting a visitor shortly. When she comes, 
Just lead us straight to room 307. Don't bother calling. No problem, ma. Thank you. You're welcome. marry me if you knew you were going to torture me like this. Steve, what have I done to deserve this? Steve! to tell you that we were involved in an accident five years ago. My love, what's wrong? I'm scared. Scared of what? I'm scared of your parents. You know they don't really like me. Yes, they've been accommodating me as your girlfriend. But do you really think they'll support the idea of you and I getting married? What are you talking about, my love? What are you talking about? Do not worry about my parents. Whether they like you or they do not like you, that's their business. They are not going to marry you. Okay? I'm the person who's going to marry you and I've chosen you because you are okay for me. I love the way you are. I love everything about you. You're perfect for me. Alright? So don't bother yourself. Actually, you look wonderful like this. Okay? Ah! Sexy. Let's go. Is not possible. 
excuse me. You hear me? I warned you earlier not to get too serious with this relationship. And you wouldn't listen. Is this the kind of girl you want to take as a wife? Look at the way she's dressed. Father, I have looked at the way she's dressed. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with it. She is the woman I want to marry. Simple. Shut up and listen to your father. You need a God-fearing woman as a wife, not some street girl. Mm. Tell me, mother, are you happy now? Sitting down there, can you tell who is God-fearing and who is not? What do you know about her? Absolutely nothing. Huh? How can you do this? Look at the way you just talked, talked to my fiancé. Is it fair? But I told her to What you just did now, is it right? Listen, she's the woman I want to marry, okay? I'm an adult and old enough to take my own decisions. You are I'm the person who's going to marry her, not you. Excuse me. <sighs> But to me, it's still the same I love, you love, we love together I hurt, you hurt, we hurt together I cry. See, don't mind what my parents say, okay? They were just talking crap, total crap Don't, don't mind them, forget about them I told you they don't like me you heard what they said about me. That I'm not good enough for you. I heard it, but, but that's their business. You are good enough for me, okay? It's only my opinion that matters. And you're the person I'm going to marry. Don't worry about my parents. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't mind them, oh? Just don't worry. But I don't mind as long as we are together. of time so I severe brain damage and um, she's having internal bleeding. We've been able to stabilize her but she's unconscious. Oh God, I don't understand what you're saying doctor. What do you mean? Just calm down. Eh? I suggest you all calm down. Um, 
we'll try our best to see that she survives this. Huh? Just calm down, we'll try our best. Can, can we at least see? Not for now. Please excuse me. I don't know how long I'll stay in this condition, but I assure you, I will fight it no matter what it takes. Please, wait for me. Don't give up on me. Please. Who are you talking to? Steve, I think you're just tired. Maybe you should go home and freshen up. But you haven't gone home since Friday you came back for more. And today is Sunday. Please, go home and have enough rest. And have a change of clothes too. I promise. I am here with her. I won't step an inch till you get back. Please go home and rest. What are you saying? Uh, Mr. Brooks, uh, you see, her chances of uh, surviving is slim. Um, in this case, she's not responding to treatment and uh, she's suffering. Doc, isn't there anything that can be done? Anything at all. Huh? Oh, all right, what if I fly her abroad? Mr. Steve, flying her abroad will make no difference. Uh, in most
those cases, uh, you see, patients in this situation, their survival depends solely on uh, their willingness. Uh, in this case, we, we are not seeing any willingness from this patient. You talk to this me sometimes. What kind of willingness are you supposed to get from a patient who is in coma? I don't understand you people. Huh? So, so what, what, what do you suggest? Like I said earlier, she's suffering. I suggest we end her suffering. To end her life. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I, I never meant for you to find out this way, but I am so sorry. She was in a coma for five years. Five whole years. And then she just got out of coma. She decided to find me. I'm sorry. Steve. Steve, you deceived me. Steve, you lied to me. This is too much. I can't take it. I can't. Please don't walk away. You can give me a break, but don't walk away. Sometimes I wonder how I made this mistake. But I'm only human. Maybe I overreacted. Maybe you should have done a little more. Clearly, we should have done a little more. Just a little more You can question the past as the future unfold But nothing would have changed even if I still the same Cause I'm only human Cause we grow To die someday Don't you judge me now Please don't judge me now Cause I won't judge you now Don't judge me now Please don't judge me now I won't judge you now Don't judge me now Cause I won't judge you now We are not perfect We are only human We make mistakes To readjust I'm not proud of what we've become What can I do? Don't you judge me now Please don't leave me now How can I ever let you walk away? Please don't walk away You can give me a break But don't walk away Sometimes I wonder how I made this mistake But I'm only human Maybe I have a Maybe you should have done a little more Clearly we should have done a little more Just a little more 
You can question the past as the future unfold But nothing would have changed even if I still the same Cause I'm only human Cause we grow